Okay, so the other day we did a spreadsheet for screen sizes. And then in class, the next day or the next couple of days after that, we did tire sizes. So I want to show you how to do that, like to set up your tire size one, on Microsoft Office 365. So, okay, so this is our screen size that we did. I came down here. I did the little plus to make a new sheet. So now I have sheet one. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to rename that tire sizes. I'm going to come up here. This part I'm just going to do kind of fast because it's just the formatting section. I'm going to put a title. So I highlight it, I merge and center. We've done that before. I'm just running through it real quickly. Sizes. I'm going to bold it. I'm going to underline it and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Okay. So on this other one, you'll notice that we have a few things. So I'm setting up this table is what I'm setting up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste over um, just to save time, just for the labels. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to paste it. So I did Control C and now I'm doing Control V like victory. So I have this. These are going to be my little headings. The only thing is, is they don't all fit in column A, right? They like spill over. So I want to, I want to stretch out column A to make it wide enough. So I just come up here where the A is. I go here between the A and B where it turns into the little arrow thingies. I'm going to click that, hold it, and stretch it out as far as I need to stretch it. So that's like right there. The next thing is I'm going to have four tires. I'm going to have factory. I'm going to have tire one because, oops, that's not what I want. It's scuppy. I want tire one. And I want, I'm going to be comparing tires one, two, and three to my factory tire. Okay, and I'm assuming you've already watched the, the tire video so you know what these things are. Okay, so now also I'm going to, I want to widen these columns because they're not going to fit. So like if I look over here, my tire sizes are kind of big. So if I go in between here, I see that that's a width of 13. I don't have to stretch each column if I don't want to. I can select multiple. So let's say I do B, C, D, and E. So basically I just clicked on the column title, like the A, B, or C, or that thing. Click on it, select the ones that I want. Now I'm going to right click. If you're on a Chromebook, that's you touch the two fingers at the same time. And I'm going to put column width. I'm going to make these. So the other one said 13. So I'm going to do like 13.5. So it's expanded it out. The next thing we do is we have our tire size. Um, these are these things. I'm just going to copy these over because this isn't the this isn't the calculation part, so I'm just trying to get things in there. So I have that. And also notice this is yellow. That's fine. Those, those are my input cells. So over here, I'm going to put notes, put input, and I'm going to highlight that yellow. So everything that's yellow is going to be input. So in this case, my width is going to be an input, the width in millimeters. My aspect ratio is going to be an input, and my rim diameter. Okay. Oops. Notice how since this went to a cursor, my things up here are not available. If I escape out of that, it undoes the cursor part, and now I can highlight it. So on tire sizes, we already know that these right here, like this 245, 35R18, that's our tire size. And we already went over this. So we know that that first number, 245, that's my width in millimeters. So I could put that there. The next number, this 35, that's your aspect ratio in percent. So I'm going to type 35. Shift 5 for percent. And my rim diameter in inches is this last number you know, after the R. And that's my rim diameter, so I'm just going to type 18. Okay, those are my input values. I can do that for this too. So this is 255, 35%, 17. I'm going to go ahead and put these in, and you'll see why in a minute. 275, 60%. Um, rim diameter of 20. Uh, I'm back to my little five minute time limit thing. So I'm getting the table set up and then I'm going to continue with the, with the calculations in the next one. 60%. 60%. And 16. Okay, we've got our inputs ready. Now we're ready to move on to the calculations. So that'll be tire sizes part two.